I've heard loud and clear that a number of our families and our staff do not feel safe to return. Uh, they don't feel safe to return to our schools to program them in the way that all of us wish we could. And please, families, please understand this. If I could stand behind any other decision right now, I would. Uh, but when I have to look at the uh, feedback that I'm receiving from many families, not all, many staff, not all, but many, um, and I have to determine the logistics that we would have to put in place right now to operate in a hybrid or in-person fashion uh, with the guidelines that we've been given, um, I don't think I could do it safely, at least to begin with September 8th. And that's why I ask you to please understand that that is a September 8th start. Um, that doesn't mean that it is, it is my direction that we're going to be there until the end of the year, um, that we'll be looking carefully at other factors as we move forward, and we'll be communicating with you with adequate lead up time so that you can also be informed of the decisions that we're going to be making ahead of time. I wanted to share with you for a moment some of the highlights of Distance Learning 2.0. Uh, first, we wanna make sure that we're having um, synchronous learning taking place, so same time learning that's consistent uh, that's communicated that you can expect it uh, with your child and uh, with our staff. We want to make sure that there's daily student-to-student -student interaction using some of our great technology tools and we want to ensure that there are consistent expectations throughout. As you know in the spring uh, there were many questions about attendance, about grades, about assignments, about late work, all the things that you can think of as a teacher, as a student, as a parent, making sure that our, our children understand what the expectations are. And we want to make sure that we're starting from day one having clear expectations with everyone. There will be course design to ensure that it's culturally responsive. Um, and, I, and I highlight this because it's a, an important part of our district strategic plan, SPPS Achieves. And we want to make sure that even in Distance Learning 2.0 that we haven't forgotten about how we want our long-term student outcomes and the experiences for our students to improve in St. Paul Public Schools every day. Some of the tools that we'll be using in Distance Learning 2.0, uh, obviously iPads, the generous uh, support of this community. We have technology for all of our students. Uh, we're going to be using Seesaw for grades pre-K through, pre through two, special education in all of our environments, and Schoology for students who are in grades three through 12. There will be video conferencing, uh, Google Meets. We're also going to have fall technology launch uh, for all of our staff, students, and families. Uh, so that we can share this information with you. Distance learning with added support, distance learning that better serves our students and partners with our families, and our, our staff are coming back in August. They are gearing up right now for distance learning 2.0. I want to give them time for our eventual return to a less restrictive model, to be able to do it well, to be able to do it safely, and to make sure that they have the confidence to do it before we have students coming back.